Hi, everybody. Wow, here we are again, another school year. Uh, making this video is a little reminiscent of the last year at the end, <laughs> but it's great. It's all great because I know that next week we're going to be here and the kids are going to be all in the room and it's going to be great. So how are you guys feeling? I hope that you are excited and confident that this is going to be a good school year because I am. I really am excited and I feel like this is a, um, a great opportunity for us to come together and to be strengthened and unified in these trying times that we're going that we're living through. I feel like when you when you're faced with things that are um, that are difficult or there's adversity, it's just time for Christians to come together and to be stronger together. So, okay, I'm not going to preach to you. Let me just, um, let me show you the room real quick. I'm going to get up and I'll kind of walk around and you can see a little bit. So um, behind me is the kids' lockers. So they'll each have a locker um, and they can put things inside the locker. I know they love to decorate, so that's fine. Um, I just ask that they keep it all inside and not anything on the outside. Uh, I just like to have things really nice and neat and clean. <laughs> and then over here, let me just move the camera a little bit. Um, over there, you can see that we have birthdays. We, I do flexible seating. Um, they're going to be set up in pods this year, and which is going to be great for them to be able to cut down on exposure to anything. As we know how kids are when school starts, right? I mean, there's strep, there's colds, there's all kinds of stuff. So it's not a bad thing to be like this, even if COVID wasn't happening right now. So um, then also on the back, you can see the little squares or rectangles on the back. Yes, um, it is our class store. So I'll talk a little bit about how they can earn points and then redeem them for treats and different things that they can have. It's a really good incentive for them to earn their dojo points. Then over here, we have some space um, on this cabinet. I'm going to put our anchor charts. When we're learning something new, we'll be creating anchor charts and sticking them there. And then over here, we have our library and our kindness tree. That's a real big part of our classroom. So that's just a little quick overview of the room, uh, very quick. And hopefully it kind of gives you the feel of, um, of what your child's classroom will look like. So you are going to be getting this packet. I'm going to email it to you and so you can look over it. I'm asking you, a lot of you I know, to sit here and listen to me talk but then also read all this information. But if you do have time, please read it because it will be helpful um, as far as just knowing what's going on. And then ask questions. You can email me. You can, um, you can text me. I'm including my cell number. You can also um, call me if you, if you want to. Just let me know ahead of time if you're going to give me a phone call, and I'll make sure that I pick up because I don't know everybody's numbers yet. So just to kind of briefly touch on things, um, I love third grade. I love what we cover. I love what we talk about. All of our subjects are um, just so much fun, and I feel like it's really a focus on our character and growing and being more like Christ and really reflecting on how we live our lives and how that can better um, reflect how Jesus wants us to be. So I just, I love it. And, and from Bible to reading to language, all these things tie in. And then science and history is all about God's creation and God's story throughout time. So it's a lot of fun you're going to want to be in third grade. <laughs> okay, and then um, first thing I want to talk about is folders. Yellow folders are super duper important. So your child will be coming home every day with a yellow folder. In that folder, you will have your child will have his homework, and that is something that they want to work on every day. And now Wednesdays, we try not to assign homework except for maybe an occasional math. Uh, homework but we try to do that in class so they don't have to take it home and then Fridays no homework so homework will be things like and it's not busy work we try very hard not to give them busy work but it's reading fluency reading comprehension that they work on a little bit every day it's math facts because remember third grade is all about the multiplication facts we've got to get those memorized before they leave here so we're gonna be working really hard on that all year and then also uh, math homework. 
and then a little bit every day they're going to study their spelling words and their Bible verse. So it's very important by Friday that they're ready to take that spelling test and also to test on their memory verse. So um, getting the word hidden in their hearts is so important, right? And um, so you're going to be getting that yellow folder in the homework. There's going to be a homework sheet in the middle and my newsletter for the week in the middle. But on the left-hand side of the folder is homework. The right-hand side is work that is done with and you can keep it, throw it away, whatever you want to do with it. It's up to you, but it's yours to do with. And um, so I think that's it on that. I, I normally have a, a PowerPoint, and so I'm, I'm going a little blind right now. Behavior. Let's just talk about behavior because um, even though we do have great kids, sometimes uh, they they might make a, a not so good choice. So we need to look at how are we going to handle that, right? But but not only will they sometimes make bad choices, but sometimes they make great choices, and that's a perfect opportunity to honor that and reward that. So we want to make sure we have something in place for that too. So my personal preference, and the kids have really enjoyed it in the past, is Dojo. And um, some of you might be familiar with that, but um, I will be sending you an invitation that you can accept if you would like to see what your child is doing in class, what how many points they have. And um, those points can be redeemed for things in our classroom store that I showed you a minute ago. So there's like different levels, 25 points, 50 points, 75, 100 points. And um, so some kids really like to save up their points and wait for the big prize. And others are just like, I have 25 points and I want my candy, please. <laughs> so you'll see different kids have different motivations, but it's great. It's a great tool. And then on the other side, though, um, if they... I like to do logical consequences. I don't like to just have a blanket, this is how I'm going to handle discipline, because sometimes things call for different things. So sometimes if it's something just minor, a, they, they call it a no-jo, but basically it's just taking away a dojo point, and that is very effective to help them think, oh, maybe I shouldn't do that. But I do like to try to get to the heart of the problem. I do like to try to help them think about how they could do it different next time because that's really what it's about, right? We all make mistakes, but how are we going to handle it the next time we're faced with that situation? So another thing about um, positive reinforcement is that my kindness tree that I just showed you, that tree is very special because the children, the students, vote every month on people who they believe have demonstrated love and kindness, the kind that God talks about. And so to like love your neighbor as you love yourself. And so when a child gets nominated and voted on and gets their name up on that kindness tree, it's a, it's a real honor. And I'll let you know who gets, um, who gets voted on the tree every, every month. So um, it's just a few things that I like to do in our classroom because to me, it's all about creating a community, a family, uh, we're all here for each other. We're here to cheer each other on. We're here to help each other out when there's problems, when there's difficulties. And, and we don't want anyone to feel like they don't have a place here. So that is discipline. Let's see what else I need to cover. Okay, we talked about homework. And there's this page is other info. So make sure you look at that. Um, it talks about water bottle, snack, lunch, recess, uniforms. Now, um, birthdays. Birthdays is a little different this year just because um, for the first part of the year, they're asking parents not to come in the building. So I think if you do come, though, you have to wear a mask. So we'll just need to make sure we plan ahead if your child's birthday is coming up. And I know we do have one in August. So if you'd like to bring a special treat, um, those items are listed in here, the things that are approved. Um, just make sure that you also bring it individually wrapped. Like for example, instead of like bringing a big thing of Oreos, get the little snack packs because um, we're not gonna be doing like handing out from a bigger package. We want them to have their own individual package, if that makes sense. And um, distance learning. So we know the reality of 
the times that we're in right now, there might be someone who has elected to be a distance learner. And then there also might be some who are mandated distance learners. So they maybe they were exposed to COVID or something like that, and they have to stay home for five days or 10 days, depending on the situation. So what we're going to be doing is I'll be recording the, the lessons for the day. And then at the end of the day, I will send less all the videos and assignments to those people only through Seesaw. So what we ended up doing is I know last year, third and fourth used Dojo and second down used Seesaw. But what we decided was um, Seesaw had some more options than Dojo. So we're just going to do that if you're familiar with those two. And, um, but you won't have to worry about that Seesaw app and all of that unless your child is a distance learner. So I'm sticking with Dojo only for points and for the class store and for positive reinforcement and discipline. So that I don't want that to become a burden for you. And if you don't even accept my invitation to see your child's dojo points, you will not hurt my feelings. So maybe you're just like, I don't want to have to deal with that. And that's perfectly fine, too. So um, dismissal this year is going to be similar. I think there might be one more entrance that you can come to, but you'll get more information about that as it gets closer. And um, the children, the third graders, will go with the oldest sibling. So either if they're the oldest sibling, then the younger ones will come and dismiss with them. Or if um, your third grader has a middle or intermediate school sibling, they will go and dismiss when they do. So please make sure you read this. This was emailed to everybody. Um, it, it's it's read, I think, in, in when it's on the computer. So make sure you look at that to get more details about um, about how we're doing dismissal, how we're doing lunches, how we're doing field trips. I knew I was forgetting something. Field trips for this first semester are canceled or, well, postponed is a better way to say it. And so um, the Lucky Lad Farm field trip third grade normally takes in the fall is postponed. Hopefully we'll be able to do it in, in the springtime. I don't know if they're even open then, but that would be a great option. We also do Adventure Science Center in the spring, and I'm hoping that will still happen because um, that's great for me as the science teacher because it's all during our space and planets and constellation unit, so it goes great with that. So um, there's one other thing I wanted to talk to you about, and this is just for me to remember to tell you. I wanted to do something fun for the first week of school. I would love it if your child could find three, four items that represent them, that kind of give us a little insight into some of their interests, their hobbies, their passions, and then we will take turns for eight, like seven at a time for the first three days sharing what we bring. So you could stick it in a bag like this, you could just stick it in, if it's like big, you can bring it in, whatever works best for you. But I want to just ask that you have your child think about those, some things that they could bring to share with us. And I'll shoot you an email too about that to remind you. Okay, so I'm noticing the time. I'm close to being done. So um, if you have thoughts, questions, concerns, please contact me. I'm here to help you feel calm and ready for this school year. I'm so happy that I get to see your little cuties' faces on Wednesday, and I know um, that I'll really look forward to meeting you guys in person, hopefully soon after that. So anyway, thank you, and you know what? Let's pray. Let's pray before we go. I have a minute now. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, I just thank you so much for the blessing that you've given us to have school in person. I look forward to this year. I pray, I pray a blessing over this classroom, each family me member that's represented. I also pray, God, that you would protect us, keep us safe, put a hedge of protection around us so that no um, sickness or anything would come against us, God. We trust you. We put our hope and trust in you. And Lord, I just pray that you would give us all peace as we start this school year. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, guys, I will um, talk to you all soon, and I hope you have a great first day of school.
Bye.